Good evening. Welcome to Four Corners. I'm Tim Beach. What do you think of when I say the word jugs? These? Maybe these? Well, what about this? The jugs bowling machine. Who would have thought that the humble ball slinger could have divided opinion and generate such colourful debate? The players at Bayswater Park have certainly been involved in fierce debate on the capabilities of the machine. But just how fast can the machine actually bowl? Tonight we chat to some of the characters who have been involved in heating up the discussion. We also explore the specifications of the jugs machine and use a range of measures to determine once and for all the maximum speed in which the machine can deliver the ball. You've been strongly opinionated on the, on the speed, so we wanted to get your thoughts. What's, what speed does it go to? I don't know if I go to not 160. But what do you think? What maximum? <laughs> what would you say? 130 tops. 130. Tops. What are you basing that on, John? The fact that Kyle could hit it. Kyle couldn't hit anything over 120k, so... So Kyle, you faced the bowling machine at high speed. Were you scared? Oh, generally a little bit scared, but it was pretty easy to face, I would have thought. Yeah. And what speed do you find most comfortable on the machine? Probably 130, 160. Hey mate, I just finished watching uh, that video of Cole smoking him at 160. But then uh, Johnny Harford's decided to comment on Facebook. Well, professionals face 130 kilometres an hour every time they train or play and have been for five plus years. So some repetition and conditioning is why they can face 140 kilometres an hour. It's not 160. Bowling machine is about 20 years old and has never been serviced. Is it quick? Yes. Is it quicker? Of course. Not 160 though. What a fucking idiot. I bought the bowling machine five years ago. What a fucking dead shit. With all the controversy over the machine, with all the opinions with little or no basis behind them, we felt obliged to do some research. How fast is the machine? Step one, check for any indicators on the machine. Here, we have a sticker on the side of the machine which clearly reads maximum speed 157 kilometers per hour. The dials up here go from zero to 100, reflecting 100 miles per hour, or 160 kilometers per hour. Step two, Jug's website. What about this video that they've got linked here? Perhaps that's also got some info for us. Speeds can be set from 40 kilometers per hour all the way up to 160 kilometers per hour. Step three, frame rate comparison. And this one I think will be my favorite. What we're gonna do is have a look at a side by side with Mitchell Stark delivering an absolute jaffer at 143 kilometers per hour next to the bowling machine. Mitchell Stark right through him. Well, not much James Vince could have done about that. He might have just... Okay, well, it seems to be reasonably conclusive based on the first three steps. And I think we have no other choice but to confront the man himself, John Harford. about bowling your team. Fuck off. Please? No, it's two minutes of your time. Oh. oh. Sure. There we go. There How fast can the bowling machine actually bowl? According to the bowling machine, 100 mile an hour is 160 kilometers per hour. 160? 
And that's just based on the bowling machine? Anything else? Do you think 160 is safe? Probably not. But what speed is the maximum bowling speed on the machine? I think it's 160. Yeah? Yeah. Why do you think it's 160? Because 100 balls an hour, 160 Ks. So because of the dial on the 100? Yeah. yeah. Correct. All right. And you're sticking with Absolutely that? Absolutely no scientific evidence. Purely and simply the fact that Jesse and Cole put it, it tells me it couldn't be any quicker than 120. Well, there we have it. Scientific proof that John Harford was wrong. Satisfying, isn't it? Next week on Four Corners, we investigate the mysterious online serial pest, Arthur Spooner, to discover his true identity. Thanks for joining us. Good night. How fast can Kyle bowl? 80 tops. How, how fast can you bowl?